Uh, I've been playing domestic cricket. You know, of course, it's a big tournament for us. And uh, recent last time we played final, I believe this year we have to win the final. So I'll set for it. Yeah, of course, it's a big tournament, uh, and uh, honestly, I was just preparing for this tournament as well. And of course, if I do well, I will be coming here to play for UAE, and inshallah, I believe I will do. Honestly, I've been uh, very happy to be a part of this team last year as well. Uh, very good environment whenever I speak to the players who have been part of this ILT. So I told them I was quite lucky to be part of uh, Desert Viper. Uh, you know, they treated me really well. And uh, as a senior from UAE, I, I did I did not much well, but I did uh, how much I can. I believe this year I will do much better than that. Yes, of course. I was speaking to, I was, uh, I was talking to uh, Neil McKenzie, coach. Uh, you know, after even after the tournament, if there's something I can improve on, so I've been sending my videos and I've spoken to him quite. And uh, there are a lot of things, and uh, I believe, inshallah, you will see in this season. Very much so. Um, and we report on around about um, the 13th. Coaches start coming in on the 12th. Players start coming in from the 13th, either from around here uh, or from the Big Bash or a few other competitions. Um, but the preparation's been good, and, and really most of the preparation is about making sure that things are in order logistically. Um, so try and set it up like we did last year. And then obviously with the recruitment phase, retaining and recruiting new players. And we're absolutely delighted with the squad that we've assembled this year. I feel like we've strengthened it. So very excited to see what we can achieve this year. Yeah, I mean, there's an, an option of either sort of going in with a pre-planned um, option when you play your matches. For example, you might play the extra bowler or play the extra batter. Um, various teams did it differently in, in the uh, Indian Premier League. Um, so we'll probably just assess to see um, who's available at the time, what players that we've got with us. Um, I've got an idea in my head how, how we're probably going to try and uh, try and do it, but I probably won't say right now. A lot of fun. It really was. Absolutely loved it. Um, great group of coaches, great group of players. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think culture is a huge thing. Um, in tournament play, so in the World Cup, the tournament, and, and the same obviously in franchise cricket, trying to get the group together as quick as you can, gel as quick as you possibly can. And ultimately have a lot of fun, you know, we, we all love this game sometimes. Um, we can get a bit too serious about the business. Um, yes, it's professional cricket, and there's a lot at stake, but it's important to enjoy what you do. Um, and that's something we try. We worked very hard on last season to try and create that within the environment. We've got great support staff, coaches, people behind the scenes and the players. And they all bought into that really, really well. Delighted with um, keeping most of, our, most, most of the core, like you said. So that'd be great to then bring them back and then we can continue. And then it's just reintroducing the new players, um, delighted with who we've recruited this season. We've got some box office players, uh, very excited to see what we can achieve and, and hopefully we can gel everyone together, which, which I'm, so, I'm sure we can, you know, it's, um, we, um, you know, it's not just the quality of performance that we've got, it's also their characters as well that will fit in really well with us. I, is, is it different? I, it's just making, I felt as a support staff and management and backroom staff, we worked very hard to try and create that environment. And I would say we had quite a lot of like-minded people and also with Munners as well as captain, very experienced, but also who's believed in a lot of the same values. So it was just really sort of just dialing into that. Um, and again, I touched on earlier, but we've got some great people within the setup. Um, and it's just about for us to try and create an environment where you can go out and play and play your best possible cricket. Yes, you do your planning, but you don't want to necessarily over plan, you don't want to over analyze, but just sort of keep the guys up to speed with you know a little bit of planning here and there. But ultimately, it's about letting them go and play. That's why I'm really a big believer in, you want your team to go out, you know, you've got this, these high class, world class players, you don't want them to style for them, you just want to go out and play their natural game. And that's what we tried to do last year. Well, it was, it was very easy, um, you know, Last year, it was probably his first time where he's done a full, been a full-time um, captain. I was very clear and confident that I wanted him to be captain last year. Um, so when I asked him, he was, I think, a little bit taken back, and I thought he did a brilliant job. Um, I thought he grew into the role. 
Obviously, he's got a wealth of experience. He's been around. I think it's listening the other day. He's got 10,000 T20 runs. You know, he's an absolute world-class performer, but again, quality bloke. Um, and I thought he did a phenomenal job last year. It's not easy, Captain. Everyone's always got the answers from from afar, and obviously, then you've got commentators, you know, suggesting X, Y, and Z. But I thought he kept his cool. Thought he was very calm, and again, just embodied that sort of togetherness um, the, the togetherness that we try to create during this whole campaign a sort of sense of belonging within the group Trafane, you know what, what what a tournament he had last year arguably a sort of standout player the impact that he had in, in the campaign and obviously we all sort of remember that eliminator the way he unfortunately tore his hamstring that was the end of the tournament for him he came off then he was absolutely adamant, coach, I want to get back out there. I said, mate, you can't, you can't run. He said, no, I want to go out there. So, you know, spoke to him, uh, moods as well. He was keen to go out, so he strapped him up. Super nerm, our physio. And the way he performed, that he just banged all those sixes was, was, was simply incredible. And then he's trying to hobble, getting a few runs to get down the other end. But, you know, but it wasn't just about that performance for him and for us. It was his whole campaign. You know, he's a great guy, great around the group. He's a very talented gifted player and delighted to see the recognition that he's got with the West Indies and he's taking his opportunity. Again, going to be obviously sad to see him leave us at some point during this campaign, but delighted the fact he's got, you know, playing for his country and ultimately that's what it's all about. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's a game you want to keep things as simple as you possibly can, learn what we did well last year and try and add to that and build on that. Look, you know, performances, as I touched on earlier, is a, diff it's, you know, a fine line between success and failure. But we just keep doing the simple things well, um, bring the group together like we did last year, trying to create an environment, a platform for the players to go out and express themselves. I think we've got a great opportunity to, to, to have another very successful season.